Right here I just want to do one example of an application problem involving division. Um, you'll see a variety of application problems in this section. Uh, but I just want to do one to kind of help see if we can build some intuition for recognizing when division is the correct thing to do. It says if Carl makes $9.75 per hour working on a farm, uh, which has no overtime, so you know farms don't aren't required by law to pay overtime, um, and earn $800. $19 gross income on his last paycheck. How many hours did he work for that pay period? Um, and, uh, and just in case you haven't encountered this term before, gross uh, just means uh, you know before any money gets removed, like taxes and things like that. All right. So how many hours did he work for that pay period? So uh, we know how much he makes per hour. And then we know the grand total of how much he makes. So if we can figure out basically um, how many times 975 goes into 819, then that should give us a number of hours, right? In other words, um, the number of hours worked. is the number of times nine seventy five goes into eight hundred nineteen. So hopefully we can agree on that. And so how many times nine seventy five goes into eight hundred nineteen means I'm taking eight hundred nineteen divided by nine 75, right? So that would look like this, 819 divided by 9.75, but of course we can't allow this decimal to exist in 975, right? We've got to send that 2 to the right, and we better do the same thing over here, send that 2 to the right. So let me clean all this up a little bit here. This is 819 I'm sorry, 81,900 divided by 975. Okay, so let's look at this. Boy, this is this is tough. Um, 975 is almost 1,000, right? And 1,000 wouldn't fit into 8. It wouldn't fit into 81. It wouldn't fit into 819. It would fit into 8,190. Eight times, right? That's how many times 1,000 would fit in. So I think that's a pretty good guess for 975. So I'll put an 8 up here. I'm going to do my multiplication on the side here. Because there's quite a bit to do. So let's see, 56 plus 4 is 60. And then 7 or 8 times 972 plus 6 is 78. So it looks like 7,800 is what we get right here. And looks like 390 is our remainder. So I'll drop this zero down. And let's see, 1,000 would go into 3,900 only three times. But it would almost go in four times, right? And 975 is smaller than 1,000, so I'm actually going to try four here. Let's see what we get. I'll know that I'm wrong if I end up getting uh, 975 times 4 as a number larger than 3,900. But let's give it a shot here. So, great, we get exactly 3,900. So this tells me that Carl worked 84 hours.